Welcome guys to another Substance Designer tutorial. Today we're gonna see how to create this cracked soil. And so let's get started. We're gonna see it's a easy graph, very basic. You can use this graph to build a better um, complex texture. First, we're gonna see how to create the crooked soil shape. You need the the tilly random node. You search here. Uh, tilly, and you use this tilly random. This, okay. Once you use, you have to tweak some params here you use the disk shape use the scale random rotation random offset random also this the random and the color random okay just a little. Once you have this, you uh, use a level node to get the strike white color and blend in a distant node. The distant nodes allow you to create this pattern and use the edge detect. This edge detect create a basic pattern. Here you can tell the substance how much uh, separate in between the rocks you want. See? Also, you can tweak this the edge around it. This allows us to create a rocks more round in our substance okay uh, after that uh, you use this shape sharpen node sharpen node to allow us make more sharpen our edges after uh, you have a better shape, you're gonna use a blur HQ grayscale to get more soft the edges, and we're gonna need to uh, tweak this strike uh, sides. We're gonna use a warp node with some dirt. This allows to variation in our uh, in our pattern edges. You can tweak more this, but is basic is a uh, lower level. Maintain here. I use this. You can use you also something like that. And for the last part, you want to use the directional warp to allow us create this random uh, directional. I use a crystal two pattern. Directional warp you create. You can tweak this to change. And the intensity I use the uh, ten point five two. You can tweak this also. This is uh, as you wish. You can use this. Okay. Okay. This is our basic. Uh, and for the last, we're gonna add some roughness to the rocks. We're gonna um, use the BNB. BNW spot tree, 
blend in main darkness blending mode and this we're gonna use for our color a color you just have to make a gradient like this or as you wish I use you I build this this fade in this mode uh, gradient map gradient editor big gradient and then you just have to tweak this gradient editor uh, you get rid of this of that of the notes you don't want you connect this here and here you can see uh, how will be your texture and here you can uh, edit as you wish you can get rid some of those and that you can build uh, your texture okay like that also uh, I can use that uh, let's see how see see you have to edit this once you edit your gradient map and have something like this we're gonna use uh, we're gonna create the, this background here I use a D6 node, a gradient map again, this time more green. Take the samples from here and H yields E node, hue levels saturation. Take down the saturation and blend in copy mode. The mask is this. Okay. And here we have our albedo map. Then we're gonna create the normal map. We can use this, but if you use this, uh, the normal map uh, is moving noisy. It's much noisy. So we're gonna have to use this. Blend with this in main doctrine and deposity down okay once you have this uh, this opacity allows us to more roughness in our rocks you see this is as you wish and then blending with the dirt soil this with this and the mask is invert grayscale from this invert and you have this and this is straight to our normal map okay normal map I select open here with the D key you can dock the notes and the roughness and the metallic use white and black white for the roughness black for the metallic okay and that is all folks this is how you can create a basic uh, cracked soil texture after this you can uh, enhance this texture and add more uh, pebbles, maybe some um, grass, but uh, this is the basic uh, way to create this texture. I hope you like it. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, comment, share. And subscribe and see you in the next video of Sustain Center. See you guys, bye.